Hey, this is Troy Taylor with the Championship Football Coaches Clinic Podcast, sponsored by First Down Playbook, Rack Coach, Tip the Spear, the Top Hopper, Sports Workbook. This is Hey Coach. Um, this is where we answer specific questions that coaches may have. Okay, so this is the second question um, that we're doing today. And this one is, when is it too late for a kid to come around? When is it too late for a kid to be able to change their attitude and to buy in? So whenever there's a question about players or what's um, what's the best thing for players, I kind of I kind of look to Saban. You know, Nick Saban is the GOAT. And Nick Saban talks about when he was at Michigan State, he had a wide receiver that everybody wanted him to kick off the team. And it's kind of like when you're a teacher, you know, you want to see this kid suspended or you want to see this kid get kicked out of school. Um, and, you know, you get upset when the assistant principal uh, doesn't do it. Um but then once you get to be the assistant principal, you see the other side to it and the things you have to deal with when you suspend kids. You know, I was assistant principal for one year in the city at Lucille Brown. It's the best thing and worst thing that ever happened to me um, you know, because it, it kind of led me to going back to high school football. Uh, so Saban says, nothing good has ever came from kicking a kid off the team. All right, now, I'm going to say that because there's been times uh, I can think of one particular kid who repeatedly um, couldn't get right, repeatedly did things to hurt the program, and then I found out that he was practicing with another team. And to me, that is the ultimate um, sign of disloyalty. And I called his dad and I said, hey, man, you know, he he's not going to be a part of the program anymore. And whenever you do that, coaches, um, you got to make sure that you check with your AD and you check with your principal. Because if your AD and your principal don't back you when you decide to separate um, your team from a player, then that player will be back, and then you'll see exactly you know how much support you have, and you'll see exactly how much power you have as the coach. So you know before I ever do anything, um, whether it's a player or whether it's a coach coaching with us anymore, I always let my AD and principal know because if they say, "Hey Troy, you can't do that," or "Hey Troy, I don't think you should do that," then you probably shouldn't because there's a chain of command and you got to be loyal to the people above you. So when is it too late for a kid to come around? We tell our players this, and this comes from Randy Posh. Randy Posh um, was the guy that gave the last lecture. He was a professor at Carnegie Mellon, and it really was his last lecture. He had pancreatic cancer, and um, he wasn't going to live very long. But he gave the last lecture, and in the last lecture, he talked about a coach that he had and he talks about childhood dreams and one of his childhood dreams was to play in the NFL and he had this rec football coach that would just dog him out every practice why are you not doing this why are you not doing that do it this way do to do to do then finally he'd get down then after practice another coach came up to him and said hey uh you know you look a little upset um but I want to tell you something when coach so and so stops correcting you, that's when you need to be worried. When you are doing things wrong and people are not saying anything anymore, that means people gave up on you. And we let our players know that. The reason we coach you is because we care. We want you to get better. We want you to get better as a person. We want you to get better as a player. So when we get on you, it's because we care. And if we're not saying anything when you're making a mistake, that's because we don't care. Um, so our players understand that, 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 you know, a lot of these college coaches, they want to, can this kid get coached hard? So here's another thing. You know, I believe that coaching is our ministry. And, you know, I'm the low man on the totem pole. 
That's all we call our channel, Totem Pole Nation. I was a kid once. I made a lot of mistakes. And we're dealing with kids. And their brains are not fully developed yet because they're adolescents. You know, you don't think the same way when you're 18 to when you're 28 or 38 or 48. So we got to understand that kids are going to make mistakes. And, you know, when they do, you know, most of the times when we call a parent, uh, we're on the same page with the parent because we want what's best for their son. And one, we've talked about this in our previous questions. One, we want to help change lives. Two, we want to help get kids to the next level, whether that's going to the military, trade school, um, college, playing college football, you know, whatever that means. Uh, three, we want to help build champions for life. So if we say that and, you know, we are just getting rid of kids right and left, then are we really changing lives? I mean, sometimes the discipline is, you know, you're no longer no longer a part of this program. But a lot of times that that's as a head football coach, that's going to come from above you. Because if a kid does something that bad, you know, they're going to be gone and you're not even going to have no say about it. Um, so when do I think it's too late for a kid to come around? I mean, I, I would say if you're getting into their senior year and th they're defiant and they're not doing what's best for the team and they don't have a team first mentality or they don't have a, you know, if, be a great teammate. If they're not a great teammate, then you know you might want to have a conversation with that kid's parent. Because before I would ever, you know, dismiss a player from our program, I would always talk to their parent first, and I would say, you know, ma'am, if Johnny does so and so again, you know, they're no longer going to be a part of this program, and that kind of takes it off you as the coach and you're putting it in the kid's court. Pretty much they're going to make the decision whether they want to be a part of this football program, you know? So I think that's, that's one thing. If a kid does something where you're a coach and you're like, man, that, this kid, I might need to get rid of him. Okay. Well, first you talk to his parent and then you let the parent know, Hey, if this happens again, he's going to have to go. And then it's kind of taking it off you as a coach. You're putting it in the kid's court. You know, are they going to change? Are they going to do better? Um, you know, I, this is the best way I can answer this. When is it too late to give up uh, for a kid to come around? I, I, I would say probably never. It's never too late, you know, because some kids, heck, I have one of my players. I'm so proud of him. His freshman year, I think he played. His sophomore year, he might have been eligible. His third his third season, I don't know if he was eligible. His fourth year, I don't even know if he was eligible. But the kid's going to graduate. And I've seen a tremendous amount of growth and maturity from this young man. He's going to go into the military. And if we had just gotten rid of him and not let him hang around the program and, and be a part of it, you know, Lord knows where he would end ended up. So – you know, when is it too late? I'd probably say never because I'm a player's coach and I'm trying to change lives, but I'm going to do what's best for the program first. Um, so, you know, that's the answer to that question. If you liked it, like it. If you want to share it, share it with somebody. Subscribe. This is the Championship Football Coaches Clinic Podcast.